Yo guys, Ponchi here, and today we're going to learn how to use scenes on our Analog Rhythm Mark II. Let's go! Okay, first things first, we're going to set up a new scene. So, go ahead and press the Scene button, and... In order to start editing a new scene, all you have to do is press function and press one of these empty pads. If you have uh, blue pads here, then that means you have scenes set up already. Now, for example, we can check uh, scene two is the one you saw here in the beginning. And as you can see on the screen, it says scene two. And currently I have 10 locks on scene two, 10 parameter locks. So these red pads are the ones that indicate that there are locks on them. So that's just one way to check uh, your current scenes, but let's go ahead and just make a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep holding function and press scene three. So now we're on scene three and we have zero locks. Now this little menu on the bottom here, you can navigate this using the arrows. So if you press up and down, it'll actually cycle you through the different scenes. So that's another way to choose different scenes. Um, if you press left or right, it'll cycle horizontally through this menu. Currently we have zero locks. If you keep going right, you can either clear the current uh, pad or you can clear all of them. So clear all your scenes, that is, not the pads. So course we're not going to mess with that so scene three let's go ahead and set up the scene that I had set up at the beginning so as of right now on this scene of course there's no locks this is what the beat sounds like without any parameter locks on it or at least no scene on it so the way so initially first you have to choose the pad that you want and you do that by hitting track. As soon as you hold track, this one lights up, meaning that this one is the currently selected pad. So if you click on that one or tap on that one, you'll see that it cycles through, so on and so forth. So the beat that I have here, let's get out of the scene menu just for a sec. So you can see that the only drums that I have going are the hi-hat, bass drum, and snare drum. So if we go back to our scene, we essentially, of course, want to edit those pads only. So let's start on the bass drum. That one's already selected. So it's very similar to scenes on the Octatrack. If you have an Octatrack or if you've seen my video on using scenes on your Octatrack, it's very similar to that. So what you want to do, select the track and then hold the scene. And then any parameters that you adjust while you're holding the scene, those are the ones that will be locked into the scene as part of the scene. So Right now we have the bass drum selected, so I want to go to my filter and I'm going to adjust the filter for the bass drum. Now, as you can see, the uh, filter cutoff has been highlighted, so that tells you that you are indeed um, adjusting the parameter lock for the scene. So. And then another good trick here is you probably want your beat to be playing unless you know the, the exact settings off the top of your head, um, then you can just do it without listening to it. But for the most part, like I always say in my videos, I want you guys to use your ears. So rather than uh, memorize actual settings. So go ahead and let's play the beat. This is, of course, assuming that you know how to make a beat already, of which I do have a video for that. So, I'll, basically, I just want the bass drum to be filtered. I don't want it to be completely filtered out, but I want it to be, you know, I want it to be still audible, but essentially, I want to take all the low end out. 
So that's why I'm using a uh, high pass filter for this. So I'm going to add a little bit of little bit of resonance. Okay. All right. So that one's good. So now, or once you do one pad, you want to be sure to hold track in order to select the next pad. So now I'm going to select the snare drum. The bass drum pad is lit red and flashing, which means that one of the parameter locks listed here is one of the locks that is uh, on the bass drum right now currently. So in other words, the bass drum has, has some parameter locks in this scene, scene three. So now I've got the snare drum chosen. And uh, again, one thing to keep in mind is you always have to hold the pad of the scene. Don't hold the pad of the actual drum that you're trying to uh, edit. You gotta hold the pad of the scene, which again is very similar to uh, the Octatrack. So, so now I have the snare drum selected. I want to kind of filter. This is basically going to be a filter scene if you couldn't guess already. So what I want to do now is filter out the snare a little bit. I'm going to start the beat so I can adjust the filter to taste. As of right now, you can hear the snare is not filtered at all. All right, boom. So now in our scene, if we play our beat, you can hear that the bass drum and the snare drum are indeed filtered and they both are red and flashing. So now I wanna add a parameter lock to the hi-hat. So I'm gonna select the hi-hat. So that one's selected, okay. Now, same kind of thing. I'm going to play the beat and I'm going to filter the hats a little bit. Okay. And there you have it, our scene is done. You can press no to back out of this uh, scene edit menu. And then it'll take you right back to your play mode. So let's go ahead and hit scene mode. And as you can see now, I'll just move, I'll just move this up here so you don't get confused. Now I have three scenes um, on the bottom here. And the interesting thing about this is you can have with, with all the scenes combined, you can have up to 48 parameter locks, and that's total. So that means if, if you manage to somehow get, uh, uh, you know, 30 locks on one scene, then that means on, for all the other scenes put together, you only have 18 more locks that you can lock to a scene. So. And then, you know, you could use any, any combination of those. If you split it all up evenly, 48 uh, locks divided by 12 pads, that would give you four locks per pad. So that's one way to look at it. You know, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that if I were you. You know, most people probably just going to be making no more than a handful of scenes. You know, if you're going to be playing live, if you're going to be using the, the analog rhythm live, you know, you're probably not going to use a ton of scenes. But, uh, so that's it. We've made our own scene today. Hope that helps you guys. I know scenes can be a little tricky at first. Um, you know, it's not exactly obvious uh, how to edit them and how to make them. So hopefully this helped you guys with that. And uh, my next video, I will be doing one on performance mode, which is very similar to scenes, but... Uh, just a little different. <laughs> so, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.